Hi friends. So till now you have always learned that the right answer is the exact number or the precise number whether you are counting or whether you are doing mathematical operations or whether you are doing word problems. Now let me introduce you to certain situations where having a number that's close to the exact value that gives us a fair or reasonable idea of that exact value is also acceptable. It's perfectly all right to use that. Since numbers have a certain purpose, if a number being close to the exact number serves the purpose, saves time, and in even certain situations, the exact number may not be needed, then why not? So let's take a look. If someone were to ask you your age, And you would say maybe 11 years or maybe 12 years. Now, is this, is this your exact age? Now think about it. You would actually be 12 years, some num, let's say 7 months, let's say 20 days, let's say 13 hours. Let's go down to minutes, 28 minutes. And maybe even seconds, what say? By now, maybe 24. So, now is this, this is the exact age. Is it necessary when someone were to ask your age to be able to say all of this? I don't think so. This is not necessary. 12 years perfectly serves the purpose when someone asks you your age. That's why this is an estimate that is acceptable, saves time. And in this situation, the exact age is not even needed. Now, let's move on. In a lift, whenever you enter a lift, you see that uh, something written on top. It's always there in every lift. Let me show you one moment. It reads as capacity, 14 persons or 1200 kgs. Or maybe here it reads as maximum load, 6 persons or 450 kgs. Now in this situation, let's take a look at the 1200. Now this 1200, do you think that if the load in the lift were to be 1201 kg, would the lift fall down immediately at the bottom of the building? I don't think so. Now what's the purpose of this number? The 1200 here is meant to give us an estimate or a rough idea of the overloading capacity or the overloading warning. Now, this 1200 is not meant to be the exact capacity or the carrying capacity of the lift. So, this 1200 serves the purpose. Maybe the actual carrying capacity would be 1280 kgs. On the safe side, this has been made close to 1200. For safety reasons, it serves the purpose and it's an estimate. It's good enough for us to know that we need not exceed 1200, which is the overloading warning. 